Hey everyone, and welcome to the Poll 5800 Environmental Politics Syllabus Walkthrough. So what's a syllabus? Well, it's basically the document that's going to tell you what to expect about the course and what I expect of you throughout the semester. So if we look at the top of the syllabus, you'll see some basics about what the class actually is. You know, reminder that it's online asynchronous. My office is obviously on Zoom since we're an online class. And you can book my weekly office hours on Calendly. If you're like, what are office hours? Why do I need them? <laughs> we'll talk about that in another video. So to start off, we have some information about the basics of the course, what this course actually is, what CUNY First says about it, and what you should expect to learn by the end of the semester. After that, we have the course structure. So how are we going to learn that stuff? How are we going to meet those learning objectives and learn what CUNY First says we're going to learn? Well, by dividing it up into these topics. So you'll see this course structure grid. It's going to tell us the week of class. So I've divided the class up into weeks and given the dates. Most of them are a full week long, but you have occasional weird ones like the first week that aren't quite a full week. And each of those weeks, we have a different topic. And some of those weeks will have a piece of our portfolio project due. You're like, what's a portfolio project? Don't worry. There will be other videos and information on Brightspace about that. Now, those deadlines are not every week, but they are some weeks. So just keep an eye on that. But also, the information will all be on Brightspace. Some weeks, there are funky things going on with the schedule. It's usually when there are holidays. So just keep an eye out on that. Usually it doesn't affect us too much um, since we are an asynchronous class and don't have class meetings, but it is worth keeping an eye on that. So if you scroll down, you'll see the whole semester's charted out like that. And you'll notice that we don't have a final exam in this class, but we do have some optional time during that week so that you do sort of get that time if you want it. Now, that's what we're learning this semester, basically. So how am I grading you? What, what are those different pieces, the work, basically, that you have to do? Well, that's going to be under course requirements and grading. And you'll see I break down the course into two key components, discussion participation in your portfolio, and then the portfolio is further broken down. You're like, oh, what, what do these things actually mean? You can scroll down and see uh, the definition for discussion participation and for the portfolio. You'll also see a link to the official grading system for Kingsborough, which is what I use. And you'll notice I use rubrics uh, to grade each component. Now, you'll also see there's some extra credit sometimes throughout the semester. After those bits that make up your grade, you'll see course materials. That is basically just what you're going to be using to learn the semester. Because it is an asynchronous course, we don't have class meetings which means you'll have materials that you're gonna to need to either watch in the case of videos, listen to in the case of things like podcasts, or read in the case of readings. So you can see we have required readings and videos. It's a zero textbook cost course, so they will all be available for you um, on Brightspace through the Kingsborough Library or online. And when I say through the Kingsborough Library, I mean through their website. It won't, you won't have to like be physically there. Every week, we're going to have some weekly notes or summaries, as I call them on Brightspace, and that will help us sort of tie together all these required readings and videos. We also have recommended readings and videos, which are exactly what they sound like, right? They're recommended, but not required. Now, all of this is going to be on Brightspace. Our whole course basically is going to be on Brightspace. So if you have questions about Brightspace, I give you... Um, uh, information here, it's how to log in, but it also has some information, and the student help desk at um, Kingsborough. Other online resources are going to be YouTube. There's actually a YouTube channel for the class. That's where all the weekly summaries are hosted, though don't worry, you can access them from Brightspace too. Um, and we will use Zoom if you want to do office hours uh, or talk with me in any capacity. We'll do that on Zoom. Now, other information and expectations about this class. That's all going to be in alphabetical order, uh, not order of importance. They're kind of all important. Uh, check them out if you have questions about specific things. But I also encourage you to take a look at them before the semester so that you have 
an understanding of what I expect and what you should expect of the class uh, before the semester gets going. And I'm going to do little videos on some of these pieces just so you have um, the hard copy or you know soft copies or document uh, and a video. And that actually is because of this first point here, accommodations. I try to make things uh, available in many formats to accommodate a diverse range of learning styles now and accessibility needs. Now, um, we have other things like the AI policy, how to conduct yourself on discussion boards, because diversity and respect are really important, and this is how we're going to be interacting, so we just want to make sure we're doing it respectfully and allowing everyone to participate. Speaking of participation, I know we had that little blurb about discussion participation as a grades. Here's a little more elaboration sort of on my expectations of participation. So not so much how it pertains to your grade, but how you should be basically participating in this discussion. Now, we have some information on how to ask me questions and then some other resources, including tutoring services, that can help you with this class and some other resources at Kingsborough that can just help you in uh, your life as a student at Kingsborough. Finally, we have our academic honesty policy. This obviously somewhat reiterates that AI policy, but goes into other points of academic honesty as well. Again, it's a really important one to check out before the class starts because ignorance of the policy is not actually an excuse. Um, you are responsible for not committing academic dishonesty. Uh, if you violate the policy, even if you weren't aware that what you did was a violation, you could still end up in trouble for it. So definitely take some time to review this. And again, there'll be a little video about it. Finally, at the very end, there's a detailed reading list. Why is this at the end? Seems like it would probably be important and should probably go with like all the bits I'm saying about what you're going to learn in the course. Well, the reason it's at the end is because this is all going to be on Brightspace in our weekly modules with all the information about the readings in each week's module. But in case you want the full citations or just prefer a hard copy, maybe you're someone who likes having something printed out, you could print this and then use it as a checklist and check off the readings you've done. But you don't really have to refer to this part of the syllabus because it will all be available very easily each week on Brightspace. So that's why it's tucked down at the bottom of the syllabus. So that is our syllabus for the semester. And if you have questions about individual pieces of it, there will be short videos about individual sections. And of course, you are free to ask me. And there's a variety of ways you can get in touch with me listed on the syllabus.